Well, it's not every day we get to see a glowing red moon. In about 40 minutes, our moon, sun, and Earth will start to align. The result is a total lunar eclipse visible across North America. New at 11, meteorologist Hunter Force spoke with Dr. Noah Petro from NASA to learn more about the phenomenon. What happens during this alignment that gives us yeah. the lunar eclipse? Yeah, lunar eclipses are, are wonderful opportunities to remind ourselves of geometry, right? When you have that alignment, Earth, Moon, Sun. And so what happens is the Earth actually passes between the Moon and the Sun. And when the Moon is completely in the Earth's shadow, it turns that beautiful rusty red orange color. That is the projection of every sunrise and every sunset that's happening at that moment onto the lunar surface. Well, how can our viewers see this eclipse and do we need any special equipment? My advice for enjoying the eclipse is to find an area that is relatively free of bright lights. You know, you want to be away from street lights or bright house lights. You want to be in an area that has a relatively clear view of the horizon or of the sky. You don't want to be around tall trees. All you need is clear eyes and clear skies. So starting around midnight into the one, two o'clock hour, you'll see the moon slightly dim as it passes into the Earth's shadow. NASA also has a mission that's orbiting the moon right now that's taking incredibly detailed images and data of our nearest neighbor for almost 16 years. What have we learned from LRO about our moon? Yeah, so LRO was launched in 2009 to create a high resolution atlas of the moon. We never anticipated that the mission would last this long. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is not only map the entirety of the moon, but we're also looking back at places that we've imaged 10 years ago. We're actually able to detect changes to the lunar surface. So not only are we creating this high resolution atlas, we're creating a high resolution atlas of change, of how the moon is evolving underneath our feet. Uh, this is an exciting time to be studying the moon with LRO and NASA's initiative, working with private companies to deliver NASA cargo to the moon. What are you most excited for in this new era of lunar exploration? You know, in the last uh, week and a half, we've had two missions land at the surface of the moon, one Blue Ghost Mission 1 uh, and Mare Crisium in a, an area just here. And mm -hmm. we've had the Intuitive Machines 2 lander head to the South Pole. Now, both missions carried NASA payloads. And so for the first time since Apollo, we've had instruments working on the surface of the moon while we have spacecraft orbiting around understanding the environment that those uh, instruments are working on. So we're able to do things with our data from the moon that really we couldn't have understood or comprehended 15, 20 years ago.